it's a bit of a pirate weekend for Star Citizen. It's Talk Like a Pirate Day. All of the Drake ship range are available to buy until Monday, the 20th of September, with the Caterpillar and Cutlass Black also coming with 24 months insurance. But the Nine Tails lockdown event is also running now over the weekend too. So go help Crusader Security and space stations that are under attack from pirates or go and sell some medical goods there. Or maybe aid the pirates if you're into that sort of thing. It is a sort of light PvP event. It's supposed to be heavier PvP than it is, but there's uh, very few people doing the Nine Tails, the more risky side uh, of that mission set. Uh, the ship showdown is still running. At time of recording, the Carrick is going up against the Cargo Argo in a reasonably comic battle, I suppose. The Argo, Cargo, Cargo, Argo, whatever way you want to say it, is currently winning and will probably win here and maybe even win the whole ship showdown for the memes because lols. Uh, my boy, the Carrick, got robbed um, if it does go that way, but it's not over yet unless you are watching it when it is over, th th then in which case you know the what's going on and you know who won. Uh, there's also a free fly event with the top four ships uh, being available to try from the 20th to the 27th as part of the ship showdown. We're not sure if that's also going to be a free-to-play event for the masses as well. We'll have to wait and see. There is a wipe incoming for Alpha 3.15. Reputation, Alpha UEC, Merits, and all items and ships bought in-game will be wiped for the patch as they upgrade to a new set of um, sort of database systems. This should hopefully help a lot with the game and some bugs and and obviously they're moving over to sort of more iCache and um, Entity Graph and um, Super Pcache stuff which should all help advance the game. Maybe 30Ks and other sort of um, crashing problems might be a thing of the past. I mean, they're not going to be entirely a thing of the past, but there's potential and possibility here that there could be um, states saved if you do crash and stuff like that. So maybe cargo won't be as risky. We'll have to wait and see. This week's sneak peek in the newsletter was baskets of either rice or grains or sand or something. Uh, props for the new outposts would be my guess, but probably also some new commodities here as well. Inside Star Citizen looked at inventory and um, what inventory updates are coming in 3.15. You are going to have limited local storage at landing zones, on ships, in external containers, and on your character. And you can move items between those storage areas. You can only carry a limited amount on yourself, so um, you'll want to maybe take some certain types of armor and the equipment that you want on your ship and then move it between you and your character. You'll select a home when you first spawn and your items will be stored there. All your items that are sort of like your purchased ships of real money, they'll go to that home. So for me, it'll be Orison. But you are going to be able to loot some containers that will spawn around points of interest and during missions, but also bodies. And um, you'll be able to take their gear and armor and that sort of jazz. That also means you can do that to players, and some players are going to be probably a bit upset as they lose their rare armor and weapons, at least in the short term. We're not entirely sure um, how you get those items back once you've lost them. Um, don't expect it to be a permanent thing. They are going to reset the stuff again and again, and in the future I would expect to see insurance. But in the short term, we're not entirely sure what's happening with it. I also saw a post on Spectrum with Cloud Imperium sort of uh, elaborating on... Um, inventory and this sort of like step towards a fully physicalized end, uh, inventory. Basically, personal ship and local inventory in 3.15 is a step towards fully physicalized inventory, which we've um, sort of um, heard about before. There's also a deliverable for the progress tracker called Player Interaction Experience Tier 1, lockers and inventory. It does appear that Cloud Imperium do still want us to be able to store individual uh, weapons and armor suits in lockers, um, and each individual locker will be accessible on a ship or at an outpost and that sort of stuff. But also, um, I would expect the ability to um, when you're at a port or a landing zone, be able to sell and move stuff between those lockers, probably in some sort of UI relatively easily. At least I hope there is, because that makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, but that's stuff for the future anyway. I did just see Tyler um, put out a tweet saying this is not going according to plan in regards to the Argo currently winning in the ship showdown against the Carrick. As Tyler did say, he would have to uh, paint his face in silly colours uh, matching the Argo if it won here. Next week, there are a couple of exciting things coming. A roadmap update that might reveal more changes that are coming um, to Alpha 3.16, so the Q4 patch and beyond. We know that there's been uh, a 
a big change to sort of like release strategy with sort of features going to Squadron 42 first, getting um, a bit um, more flesh to their bones and um, a tangible content to them before going to the persistent universe now. So we're expecting those patches 3.16 and beyond to be heavily affected. But more exciting for me um, next week is that we are supposed to have a CitizenCon schedule of what we might see on that day. That day being the 9th of October. Don't worry, we are going to pull over the Star Citizen and CitizenCon news as we get it in much, much detail. And we should be able to have some rampant speculation, which is a little bit more focused and with a little bit more of the, oh, what do they mean by this? And, oh, I would expect to still see some things on that schedule that are redacted or um, sort of partially obscured because they are still going to want surprises for the day. Boom. What do you think? What do you hope we'll see at CitizenCon? Are you thinking of picking up a Drake ship for the Pirate Weekend? Have you tried the Nine Tails lockdown in 3.14 over this weekend? How was it? Whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Some people say I shill for NordVPN, but listen to some of these comments that I just made up. I've never fed the love of a woman before, but then I got NordVPN, and that didn't matter. Doctor said I'd never walk again, but then I got NordVPN. Now I've been running marathons. Also, I got robot legs around the same time. They might have helped somewhat too. Arr, I was a tone-deaf pirate, but after getting NordVPN, I'm able to play the saxophone. Go on, Zin, try and animate all of this. Click the links below to get NordVPN. It might lead you to a more fulfilling life, but more likely, it will just help protect you from the terrors of the internet. Every month we have a ship giveaway for September. It's for another Mercury Star Runner. I love that ship. It's a great way to try a huge portion of Star Citizen's gameplay. If you want a chance of winning that, just comment on any of my videos made during the month. If you'd like to further support the channel, be sure to check out that join button underneath my videos. There's also links to my Patreon, which also helps loads as well. Direct donations and just commenting, subscribing, liking, all that sort of jazz goes a huge way to helping the channel. Thank you so much for watching, guys. You take care and I hope to see you in the verse.